Welcome back to Super Simple Seafood. Brian Malarkey here. I am demystifying seafood and making it simple. And today we're doing one of my favorites, okay? This is shrimp toast. We're gonna fry the shrimp toast and have the greatest bite ever. It's great for entertaining friends. You can make most of it in advance and finish it right in front of your friends. First thing we wanna do is get some good cooking oil, right? Not extra virgin olive oil, just a great neutral cooking oil that's made for heat. We have a high-sided pan Pan right here. Very important to use the thermometer when you're doing this. So I'm at about 360, 370 right there. We've got that controlled. High enough sides on the pot so it doesn't bubble over and cause chaos. And now we're gonna use this little KitchenAid RoboCo food processor. Now, this is so simple because it's super simple seafood. Some shrimp, pop the tails. I bought these peeled Andy veins so I don't have to do anything. Getting rid of the tails, we can't eat those. I'm gonna put six shrimp in here. Figure I could probably get two pieces of toast out of this, right? So the idea behind this is that protein sticks to protein, right? Watch this. Take my little KitchenAid machine here. Done. All right, I mean, I'm, I'm talking, you can do this at home with me. Okay, if you have your oil set up, you've got your stuff, your mise en place, that fancy French word for having everything in its place, you can do this with me a la minute. Another fancy French word because I don't speak French, in the minute, right? So now, sandwich bread. Something as super simple as sandwich bread right here. Yes, what is this, my good friends at? Artisano, it's a, that's really fancy Italian French bread. Okay, I just wanna make it super easy. This is how I can get my kids to eat a little protein, get them excited about something. Two pieces of bread, nothing fancy. Take this right out of here. You want to make sure you never put like an oil or anything, a seasoning in there. We're gonna put our seasoning on top of this because the proteins right now, they will stick to each other. Look at that, huh? Oh yeah, perfect. Look, at, I haven't put salt, I haven't put anything on here yet. We're gonna spread it right across. Six shrimp, two pieces of bread. Like I said, this is indulgent. We're gonna fry it. This shrimp is gonna stick to the top. You wanna spread it out nice and even here. Shrimp's expensive, get it all. Oh yes. And so many different flavors you can do with this one. Look at that, yes. Like I said. Super simple. So now I have the oil right there. I'm ready to go. Uh, I'm going to put these down, shrimp side down first. It's gonna make sure they cook all the way through and they're adhesive. Adhesive, protein sticks to protein. Ready, gentle, like that, like that. Okay, this is so fast and so easy. We're gonna make the sauce while well, that cooks. I did forget my tongs. I have this adorable little sidekick I keep from time to time. Hey, Carlito, can you give me my tongs, please? They're right over here in the top drawer. Okay, we'll just keep those right there. So now, super easy. You want to make an aioli, right? A mayonnaise. There's a few different things you can choose from. This is koopi. This is the one that doesn't have the MSG in it. This is the Japanese koopi, the worst bottle of all time with the greatest flavor. Yeah, you can, you can help out Susie's, you can get your Hellman's, you can get your Dukes, but I like to get crazy with my weird, weird bottle of koopi mayonnaise right here, Japanese mayonnaise. They use better products than most of the mayonnaise here in this country. Watch this, there's nothing more fun than this. Get the kids involved. Beautiful silky mayonnaise. Sriracha, the greatest hot sauce ever made, never trademarked. Poor man, that, the family that made the sriracha, they didn't trademark it. That's why you see all those people out there stealing it from them. Okay, plenty of sriracha. I didn't know this until I was late night eating some food, putting some weird combinations together, but Dijon mustard absolutely loves sriracha. Big old dollop of that right there. Perfect. And of course, we're gonna do a little bit of lemon juice because it's seafood, right? All of these kind of in the side of the refrigerator condiments, they have a lot of salt in them, so you're not gonna need much salt. Shall we take a little peek here at our bread? Look at this, not bad at all. Shrimp is already gonna be cooked. The bread is toasted in the fry oil. See how it stays right on there? Looking good. Oh, I can think about my garnishes now. This is real-time cooking. 
You can do it this fast. This is so much fun. Your friends are gathered around. You've already put the shrimp on the toast, and you're like, all right, come on in. Did you ever go to the fondue place or cook fondue where you cook the meat and stuff right in front of yourself right there? That's what we're doing right here. Okay, let's make a little garnish here, a little lemon. I like to slice around the outside, leaving out the seeds. You can use the juice in the middle here to thin that out a little bit more. But now we have some nice little wedges. A lot of people, when they fry at home, a lot of people are scared to death to fry at home, but that's what we're here to do, demystify this confusion. Do you know that I can actually take this oil, let it cool down, get a strainer and a funnel or a big glass mason jar, and strain this back in there and use it time and time again? Yes, even though I use seafood in here, I can use this time and time again. Of course, if you have friends that are allergic to shrimp, I don't know if that's the best idea. We're not here to kill somebody. We're here to entertain and have fun and eat some great food. So yes, I'm looking at my clock right now. Okay, it says now. I don't know why, but my clock always says now. Now I'm gonna take my bread out. Oh yes, looking good. It's toasted, it's crunchy. Got a touch of salt, that's all we need. Ring the dinner bell, cut it into triangles. Now this is when it gets good. Aioli, look at that, yes. Lemon zest, anytime I use lemon juice, I like to use my lemon zest. I put a little extra lemon on here for some garnish. Okay, we got a little cilantro. That's all we need to do. Let's just stop and enjoy our super simple seafood. And this is our shrimp toast with that spicy sriracha, aioli. Super simple seafood, so I'm like.